Okay, so the first turn is that fake battle, right? So if I hadn't for forgot about him on the first turn, we had had the fake battle. He would hit me, I would hit him back. Then I would hit him, he would hit me back, and I would die, and he would stay. Well, actually, it would be four turns, and then I would die because he would be, uh, he had 3,000 more HP than I did, or 2,000 and a half. That's tricky. So you have to Honestly, this battle is more of a Super Robot Wars thing because this game didn't have that level of difficulty anywhere else. So how do my feet smell? Zero is not going to be able to do it. Ufe! Arega! Mata Kurika is a little bit of a Hey, we get 13 years of peace out of this. And then a pandemic breaks out, and you guys develop medical nanites Ufe. that stop all war, but it actually kills a bunch of people. And then they move to Mars, and they stop the nanites, and, you know, a couple of nations on Mars start to go to war, and then seven years after that, after you guys all have children and they grow up, you send them into the same bullshit that you were in at this point. And what do we learn? Absolutely nothing. Now, see, this is what I was expecting. Uh, that front line's gonna get blown up. So I say, is the backline about to get destroyed too? And Hero's gonna pop out? I really just want to kill everyone in two turns and be like, wait, this is all you got? What? Wufei's on our side now? Wufei.
hit him. I mean, you guys have two battleships full of troops. We're completely fine. And he just kind of went out on a joke and killed all the enemies in two turns. Well, three turns, technically. But that last one was honestly for the jokes. Oh, wow, you guys are actually attacking, assholes. Don't forget that the Death Scythe has horrible... Horrible, horrible equipment. Never heard of a gun in its life. Right. They don't have a one-to-one -one either, so it's like... Yeah, there's nothing I can do with Duo. What the heck? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll have them group attack. Do you get it? Should we be weird and, you know... Ah, uh, you... You don't have ranged either. Dang it! God damn, they threw a lot of guys at us at the end. I knew this was coming, but... Damn it. Hero, you're just horrible at dodging today. You've literally dodged nothing. Okay, first dodge. I don't know, do you guys want to see Dragon Claw again for the fourth time today? Okay, so now officially Wufei has the worst dodge. He's literally dodged nothing today. That being said, it's Wufei, so who cares? Previous statement reiterated, it's Wufei, who cares? Okay, so, I'm gonna do something a little bit funky. First off, can you guys fly or are you on the ground? Oof. Great. Okay. Yes, okay, so and Trey's annoying this way to take on these guys. I'm going to move these guys up to take on these ones up here. Hero will handle these guys back here. Wufei handling these guys here. Um, the secret units, though, my guys will take care of. Let's see, sortie. Is there anything the sword calamity can turn into? Not really. That's so probably a dead end unit, to be honest. As with a lot of people on this ship. What did we get? Analyst 3. Oh, Eugene got something bad into what it was. I think it might have been MP up. I guess Kyrios is one of the ones we're going to be keeping, so... Probably should have favored that more on his side, but oh well. Um... Nah, we're not really keeping you. Let's see, sortie you. You for the fun. You also for the funsies. 
uh, you. You, because this is Xenon, so we're going to need some extra help. You. And you. And you, because I don't want to leave you out if everyone else is going to get it too. Wouldn't be fair. And if I get really tired of it, we'll go through and just blast through their entire ranks, but not right now. Hey, you can get melee handling for that melee mobile suit you're in. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing with the Susano. Probably just trading it out for something. Sadly, there's no Graham Gundam in this, so... Hopefully this will do more than 3,000 damage. Dude, I just stand in there like, shit, what do I do? Oh right, head Vulcans, yeah, that's it. Ooh, 9,000, that's not bad. We already have that, so we don't have to worry about getting up the get gauge for that. I'm just going to show you, like, most of their animations are fun. I'm all, out of be uh, I'm all out of funny drink. Oh well. It'll be over eventually. Alright, so I'm gonna move you to here. View head in this guy. I do love how uh, Troa can basically handle these guys on his own. Yeah, we're gonna get some kills with Death Scythe when we get the chance. And then. Yeah, we'll get some kills with Death Scythe up there, and then we'll have. Try to kill a couple of guys down there and then move up with the rest of them. Because, yeah, Tro could handle it on his own, but I don't want him to handle it on his own. Uh, 17 is better. So much damage, man. I know we already saw this, but I'm... Curious if there's anything special that gets added. Because it's throwing it. Oh, Alright, so Troy, you're not hero. You're not that edgy. Actually, you are kind of edgy, let's be real here. Alright. So yeah, we'll have Zex and Noin move out to here. This guy will most likely move up, so I'll just... I'll just kill him, it's fine. Uh, Wufei. 
We're gonna add or let's head Vulcan you, and then we'll double beam trident that guy at the bottom. And if that guy at the bottom actually dies, which I don't think he will, we will use the dragon claws on the third guy and then start moving towards the center with him and Hero. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's Nataku? You, all five of your mobile suits you call Nataku, including a Leo. And possibly your uh, your your what was it? White Epion? Forget which one he uses in Frozen Tear Drops. Damn, he does so much damage. This isn't happening. Meiran no yona jose ga tadashiku onna toshite ikirareru jidai ga kuru no na. You just wanted to, you know, everyone to be in constant warfare like two hours ago. Or are you in a, are you in a group with Hiro? Oh no, you're on your own. Okay. So I say, really? Alright, so. We're gonna go here. We're gonna. Well, actually, because we have a lot better range than I thought we would. Twin Buster Rifle U. to pull to here, Twin Buster Rifle you, and then we'll Twin Buster Rifle that guy there. I think that was the beeping sound that got my last video claim. Not that it really changes much. Don't worry, it's fine. We can do it more times in turn. Doesn't really affect anything. Okay, so we're gonna kill these guys, and then we'll move on to. We'll have Wu Fei go down over to here to kill this guy, while Hira goes to take on this guy. These guys will basically be handled by the Gundam team, and then we'll have uh, Zex and then uh, Zex and Noin move into. Probably kill these guys in the front. That guy will probably move up and get killed. And then we'll kind of squish these guys in between Hero, Wu Fei, Zex, and Noin. Yeah, I honestly thought that was going to happen. Fuck you. It's good. That's the uh, Mirage. Not Mirage Collider, the. Uh, Phantom Cloak or something like that. It's his version of the Mirage Collider from the Blitz. I 
I forgot to hit that guy up at the top with the arrow. My bad. It's fine, though. We'll kill him this turn. It'll work out for the better for us. I really hope that guy at the bottom goes after Wufei and not Hero. Cool. Oh, out of range. Okay, that works. So we'll have we'll have Hero kill that guy and kill the top two. That's fine. I will point out again that Wufei hasn't dodged at all. Just so I don't have to bother. Um. Okay, so. I'm going to Buster Rifle these guys. Okay. That was the same animation as before. I was kind of hoping there'd be like a zero thing going on, but that didn't happen, so. So, killed that guy down there, right? So we're gonna move Wufei over to here. Twin Trident, this guy. Hey, Control 2. We're gonna move you down to here. We're gonna Dragon Claw this guy. I'm pretty sure this is going to one-shot the enemy, but I just want to test it. Okay. Maybe if he didn't defend. But it's fine since we did hit him, we just didn't kill him. So we'll have this guy will come to us to get killed. These two will probably go after Wufei. Or no, they'll actually probably go after Hiro. We'll mostly damage them. Have Wufei take them out next round, and then this guy will die. So... Here, we're going to pull Heavy Arms to here, have it hatch release, call these two guys Head Vulcan. Probably check who's the leader in that squad. I'd say Duo, maybe? I think Quattro is in the middle, though. Uh, unit information. It is Quattro. Okay. Duo. Go to the home. I'll cut this out. Okay, sir. しおろ Interesting to note that that did more than their max, uh, than the enemy's max HP. So, if we go heat shuttle. What's that?
That was 127, so that was about 200 over the enemy's top. That was... Together, that was, uh... What, 1600? weapon efficiency. Alright, so we're then going to link attack these guys. Ooh. Oh wait, yeah, it, because it was a link attack and not a normal attack, it had a one-to-one. -one. I was like, wait, they have a one-to-one? -one? Why didn't the other ones? So, we're going to go here kill you. I was hoping he had one more. I was going to kill that guy and move him down to here so he'd be able to go after everyone else, but that's fine. Uh, honestly, best solution. These two are probably going to pull pretty far out and try ranging these two. Uh, the Sandrock and the Death Scythe, but that'll be fine. I imagine these guys will start moving towards them. Uh... Uh, so close. That's fine, and then, yeah, this has already been told. And dealt with. I was honestly not expecting that move. And <laughs> he went after Duo. Did not work out for him. I didn't expect that one either, but that kind of makes sense. We had to be careful with a hero because he's going to run out of energy pretty quick. God damn it, hero. I knew I should have hit him back. That's fine. Whatever. Sweet. We have Hero go and melee that guy and then hit the weakened ones down there as well. Oh, he went back into super high. Cool. Hey, good job, Rufe. You dodged for once. Yeah, so I'm gonna... There, I, I couldn't hit that guy anyway. So I'm gonna go here, I'm going to head Vulcan you. 
Energy wise, it's crazy cheap. It's like 20 versus 9. Which I honestly, with Wu Fei, I don't need to worry about that. Because there's not enough enemies for it to be a problem. But I'd rather not run out if we don't have to. Hey, physical weapons efficiency. Whoops. So we're gonna have you over to here. Melee. your final uh, step chance. Move you to here, raid link up on these two. Hopefully that'll net us the annoying Tauros. Yep, cool. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, since those guys went up, not much for them to do, but that's fine, isn't it? So yeah, we got those two to deal with, but we'll deal with that in a second. Um, we move you to here. Are you damaged at all? You are not. Curious about something. We heat shuttle with you and then beam scissor with you. Cool. God, that, that was a lot of damage. Alright, so... If we then go to here... Beam Scissor with you... Doesn't really help much, but it makes me feel better, because that means we can win on the counter-attack. Or maybe it makes me feel a lot better. Because, yeah, Hero and Wu Fei aren't going to get the kill. That's two we got dead. And then Wu Fei, you can impale the last guy. Woo. Took about a half hour longer than I should have let it, but that was fun, right? We are the Bartons. We are the true rulers of Earth. We've always been the rulers of Earth. Again with the guns. I was really hoping it would be like a flintlock pistol, though. No, Rulina. So this is one of the lines that makes me believe that uh, Maramaya isn't actually Trace's daughter, that it's just made up. Like it was some sort of, like just an orphan they pulled off the street that they allowed to pretend to be Trace's daughter. 
They, in one of the, I think it was in Glory to the Losers, they kind of implied that the person was actually, that she was actually the daughter, but I don't think so. She did get shot, though. Hey, they don't really show it very much, but that's what I was going to talk about earlier in the episode, that I don't actually think she's really his daughter, because, like, uh, we know, well, we know Trace has brown hair and brown eyes, right? The mother was supposed to be a blonde with blue eyes, which it's possible somebody like that could have a redhead child, but it's like one in 125,000 or something like that. So it's rare. Um, if somebody has really blonde hair and then really black hair, they have a one in 8,000 chance to have a redhead. But that may or may not be true. That's just what people say. We did miss the whole, you know, Wing Zero using the twin cannons to burrow into the fortress, but... Oh, well. Hey, sandwich. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. That was Endless Waltz. We just got an achievement called Return to Forever. Thumbnail. Wasn't a war, just an insurrection.封印さらに、ウィングガンダム相棒。これでまた名無しに戻っ<笑> どうか。安らかに眠ってくれ。ね、メイクでもスキルスプロデュードアゲン。クシュリナーダの名を付いた死亡者は それぞれの居場所へと帰っていく。時に、アフターコロニー1970年、人々の元に平和は戻り、その後の地球圏の歴史の中で、ガンダムを含むモビルスーツという兵器の存在は二度とその姿を現すことはなかった。Which is bullshit. But no one likes to acknowledge that Frontier Drops exists. So, following this incident, I believe the next year they take the Mars calendar, or MC, I believe. It's something stupid like that. And within 13 years, there's a nanite plague caused by them trying to end all war by making nanites that would stop people from having war, but it kills something like 20% of the population. And so they turn those off, right? So for some reason, a bunch of people flee over to Mars to terraform it, and they make it kind of livable within 20 years, which also is pretty impossible, but we won't go over that. To the point where they like grow gardens and stuff on the surface of Mars. Way better than IBO ever got. And then seven years after that, Relina takes the throne of one of the nations in there and declares war on the other two using mobile suits. Serpent 3s, I believe. And Hero is unfrozen to go and kill her. 
Except for a new type ghost is actually taking over Relina, and Hero isn't really up to it. But Hero gets a a version of the Wing Zero that has a cross gun. I'm not kidding. It's actually Gunpla. Go look it up. But yeah, so we finished Endless Vaults. It is clear. I believe we got all the... Uh... Oh, wait, we need to do a G unit. That's why we didn't get her. But yeah, and I also need to get that. I'll, I'll figure out which one it is, but... Yeah, so we got that. So I guess we'll do G unit next. Would that be cool with you guys, or would you prefer something else? Like, we can do G unit. Um, we already did wing and endless vaults. We finished seed. We have we could do astray or astray X. That's where the dreadnoughts from. Uh, or even destiny if you guys really want to, or stargazer, or double O. We finished double O F. We finished. Well, we need to do trailblazers, but we'll do that last probably. We'll get a. Uh, we did IBO. We did gecko. What would you guys be interested in doing next? We literally have finished half the game now. That being said, uh, Destiny's like nine stages. These two are five or six altogether, so we could hit through like most of the side stories pretty easily. And then um, Double O is 15. So we'll probably end off with Double O, or if you guys want, we can end off with Destiny. It's up to you. What would you guys like to see next? Um, I probably won't record till then. I. I want to, but I probably won't. So I'll leave it up to you, and if if not, I'll do G-Unit, and then we can decide after that. Anyway, though, folks, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, you should like. If you didn't, you should dislike. We'll be back sometime for some more. I can't promise anything, though. Night, folks.